In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Neoforge mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rinf like so. Now enter, go to modrinf.com, modrinf, and then you'll be on the modrinf homepage. From there, just go to discover content at the top of the website, then go down to mods. Now, you will find that there is a bunch of mods, but it is not only for Neoforge. So to make sure they are all for Neoforge, find the loader section and choose Neoforge, like so. Now you have only mods which supports Neoforge. So that's pretty cool. And for example, if we want to find one which is also for 1.21.9, you can select under game version 1.21.9, and this will give you all the actual updated mods for that version. So let's say that we want a mod like Xavio's minimap. So how do we get this mod? Well, simply click on the mod's name, then go to the versions tab, then here simply go ahead and find the one for Neoforge and your version, so 1.21.9, and click the green download button. Now you have downloaded the mod. So now make sure that there is no dependencies under this version name. And there is a dependency, but only if you're using open parties and claims. This is a very specific case, but if you are, you will have to get this. If you're not, you don't need to get it. So that is why it is optional. Anyways, so once you have Xerios Minimap or any other Neoforge mod that you want, you will have to get yourself Neoforge. So to get Neoforge, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar and search up Neo. Forge. And here you'll find a website called neoforge.net, Neoforge, click on Neoforge and this will bring you to this page. So for the Minecraft version, make sure it is for 1.21.9 and if it is, click the click here to download installer button. And now you have your Neoforge installer here and as it's a .jar file, you might need to get Java for Windows to actually run the installer. So if it works for you, all good. If it doesn't work, let me show you why. So here, let us wait for it to finish. And while we do this, we'll be able to get Java for Windows. So remember, you need to be able to run .jar files. To do this, simply go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up JDK25. Now enter here you'll find a website called overcall.com and java downloads. Just click on the link and I will have this website in the description as well, but just click accept all. Then scroll down, you'll find JDK25, make sure it is selected. Click Windows if you're using Windows. And here under the x64 installer, just go ahead and click this link to download and install Java 25. I already have Java because you can see that we have the Java icon. But if you don't have this or you can't actually run Java applications, make sure to have this on your computer. Okay? So once you have everything you need, just close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine. And from there, you can go to your Files Explorer and access your Downloads folder. From there, simply double click the NeoForge installer. And now you'll see that we have this here. So from there, just make sure it is install client and then just click proceed. And now we are downloading Neoforge. So this can take a little while, but it's usually quite quick. And then we'll be able to go ahead and actually add Xavios. So here it says that we successfully installed client. So we can just do OK. It closes everything for us. And now simply open up the Minecraft launcher. So with the Minecraft launcher, you will have to go ahead and add a mods folder in most cases. So here you see that we have Neoforge and to actually access the files, you want to go to installations here on the top. You want to go to latest release, snapshot, Neoforge, doesn't matter. Just click on the folder icon that shows up. 
Now, you will see that we have all the Minecraft files. This includes mods. But if you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. Just simply go ahead and right click, new folder, and call it mods, like so. So that is one thing you will be able to do if you want. Although, mine's already called mods, so I won't touch that. So yeah, just create a new folder if you have to. Here it is, and double click it. Once you're here, just go to Downloads. Select your mod dependencies or other mods. You might have multiple mods, but just select it, copy it, then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click Paste. And now you copy pasted your mod in .minecraft mods. So from there, just go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to Play, make sure Neoforge is selected. If it is, click Play. It might tell you to do I understand the risks, just do yes if you want, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Once Minecraft has opened up, we can make it bigger. But if you see a mods button here, you can click it, and here you'll notice that we have a mod here. So that is something you can do if you want. Okay, what does the mod do? Well, your mod might do different things, but mine adds minimap to Minecraft. This means we can go to a playable world, like so, it can also be a server or a realm, and you'll see that we have a minimap. Here on the top left, you see that we do indeed have a minimap. So yeah, that is how we download and install NeoForge mods to Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!